Hi Virgo. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be from now until the um, Mercury goes in retrograde. Yesterday we had a partial lunar eclipse and we have Venus Jupiter conjunction. So we're going to see um, what messages come through. There are going to be people returning from the past. Um, more passionate, more intimate messages delivered. You know, you thinking it's over between you and someone and they suddenly appear. We also have a total lunar eclipse and full moon, May 16th. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, Mercury goes in retrograde the 10th of May. So I'm going to do a few love readings and see what messages Spirit has for you guys. Appreciation. Always. Attitude is gratitude. What you put out to the universe and to your spirit guides, you will you will be shocked at the abundance. It's like it'll be never-ending abundance and your life will transform. You kind of just have to have like positive mind over matter. I know it's easier said than done. All right, spirit. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you that are new, please subscribe, like, and share. By subscribing, liking, or leaving a message, I can always pull in your energy and bring more personal messages to you guys that you know will only resonate for you. Door to Spirit, card of 32, which is five. Also, blossoming abundance. Like I said, attitude is gratitude. Things are coming towards you that are going to make your life feel so abundant and so happy. And for those of you that have asked about personal readings, the link to my Etsy shop will be below. All you do have to do is click it. Go right over to my Etsy shop and you'll see what readings I offer um, that'll be good for what situation you need clarity and guidance on. All right, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit. Two wanted to come out. Crossing bridges. It's like spirit, door to spirit. It's like you're crossing the bridge to what spirit is guiding you towards. Narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. Far away places. Get ready for new horizons. Where are you treading thoughtfully to? It's going to be amazing for you. You might be traveling somewhere with someone, a love interest in the very near future. My hands are getting tired from shuffling, and these cards are a little bit bigger than the usual. are in from now. The Emperor. So good. You might have Aries or fire in your chart, but it's like you know what you want when it comes to love. This was at the, bo the bottom, the two of water. It's like you, um, you know your worth and you know what you want to offer when it comes to love. How much of yourself, you know, your stability, your support, you're definitely in your, like, you're sitting on your throne and you've got your life together. Even in situations you feel like you may not have it all put together, it's like you, you're you doing your best self. You're living your best self. And you want love. You know, it's like you want that soulmate connection. The person that just gets you. What is the energy of the person coming towards Virgo? hermit so they might be doing some soul searching right now they're being, going to be very cautious when they approach you maybe if it is somebody from the past maybe because of the past um, energies that were between you that led to the breakup or if it's somebody new things that they might have gone through in their past which is causing them to be cautious and guarded 
mutual energy between Virgo and their person. Justice. Yeah, it's going to be a balanced relationship. Something that you know you can count on. Balancing of the scales. What is the advice you have for Virgo during this time? Thank you, Spirit. Ten of air. Allow things to just be over. If they're over, allow that victory and move past it. Like, you know, with the Emperor here and the Six of Fire, somebody like in traditional tarot on a horse, everybody's noticing them making the victory to the finish line. It's like allow what ended to end. Allow um, that victory to happen in your life, that you walk away from it and you don't give it another thought. What is the overall outcome between Virgo and your person? I feel like you, yeah, look at this. Somebody from the past, you probably have definitely have them in your mind. You can't stop thinking about them, but also they can't stop thinking about you. This is what popped out. So we're going to take that overall outcome for Virgo and their person. Ten of fire. Two tens here already. Somebody on your mind that you've been thinking about a lot, is it's like having a burden. It's like weighing heavy on you. And it, Spirit is saying, make that call. Judgment with the Two of Cups. If this is your person, then make, you know, make that message happen. Make that connection happen. Definitely passion for the two of you. Between the two of you. For those of you that might have your eye on someone, this is definitely a message for from spirit to move towards them. One last card for overall outcome. Thank you, spirit. And there's that offer. Might be a small offer that's coming towards you. They might give you a little gesture, a little present, letting you know that they are interested in you. Or you may do that towards them. But look, it's going to end to this. It's a very small offer, but it's going to end with being supportive for one another, being grounded for one another. Both of you have done some soul searching with the four of air. And now you're both are ready to make that leap towards one another for the communication. For those of you that are completely single, this could be somebody you have your eye on. Somebody that might have their eye on you and might be coming towards you. Please clarify the emperor. Please clarify the emperor for Virgo's energy. Yeah, you've done. A, okay, so you're showing up in your element with fire, either in your chart or just the energy. It's like you leveled up. You have got yourself grounded and you know what you want. You know that you're going to be able to offer somebody something real. Hermit for a Virgo's person. Why is the Hermit here, Spirit? All right, well, one flipped over. And we'll put these back. Six of Pentacles. They're cautious because they want that equal give and take relationship, but they give out, you know, in time and effort and love. They want to be able to receive it back. They don't want any more games. They don't want someone who's going to be bring games to them. They've definitely taken a pause and tried to figure this out of what they truly want. Why is the Ten of Air here for the advice spirit? Why is the Ten of Air here? All right, 
right, look at this. It's like let go of the sadness that somebody might have caused you in the past. Let go of, if somebody ghosted you, let go of that feeling. Let go of the hurt that it put on you. But I'm going to also tell you that there is somebody from the past that wants a brand new cycle with you. This could be the person that hurt you. They can't stop thinking about you. They dream about you. The two of you might connect in your dreams. But here's the world card. It's like that ending of the sadness of what didn't work. And a brand new beginning. Spirit, can you please clarify the overall outcome? Look at this. Quick movement to wish fulfillment. Quick energy, like fast energy. This is going to be coming towards you sooner than you expect. And it's going to leave to lead to wish fulfillment. It might be when you least expect that this person pops up in your life with that offer. And look how happy it's going to make you guys. The sun card. For those of you that, from, like it is for somebody from the past. All I have to say is spirits saying, let go of the pain, let go of the bad memories. This person from the past has leveled up and realized what they want in a connection. For those of you that's something new, even if you're completely single and there's nobody in your energy, there is quick movement coming in. Somebody wants to make you theirs. Let me make sure this is still taping. spirit for Virgo and their person. Any additional messages for Virgo and their person? Phoenix rising. That's what I mean. Like you did some seriously leveling up, making yourself grounded and being the emperor, knowing your self-worth. Both of you are going through a new phase. There's could be a rekindling of this changed mind, transformation, growth. So for those of you that have no like really traumatic memories of this person, like not a narcissist, no kind of negative abuse um, verbally or God forbid physically, if it's just like was a disagreement where you guys separate it, there's a knowing that there was nobody else like you and they're coming in more grounded. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. And I, I say this, I get this. So it's going to be up to you. This person coming towards you might have been a narcissist. As much as I think that can't change, all of you have your own opinion. I'm not offering opinion. It will be your own decision whether you want to accept this offer or not. For those of you, this does not resonate. There's somebody new coming into your energy. Anything else for Virgo and that person? Thank you, Spirit. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Yeah, for some of you, you definitely had a narcissist in your energy. And that is going to be up to you. Whether you want to allow that back in. I wouldn't, but you you got you guys got to make up your own mind. This is just guidance, okay? So let me know how this resonates. If it does not completely resonate, take what does, and also check out your rising moon and Venus sign because you'll get additional clarity there. I will be back for Mercury and retrograde love readings when most chances people return from the past, okay? So love and like I stay safe.